Hey everybody, welcome to our weekly broadcast. We're back for another chat about high school football in Southampton Roads. I'm Jamie Frankenberry. And I'm Larry Obama. And Larry, we don't have uh, any protest, any uh, you know, off the field issues, no suspensions that we're aware of. So let's talk high school football. And let's go back to last week. I know on Friday night you were at Indian River in Grassfield. Indian yeah, River yeah. rallies from three touchdowns down. What a comeback. It was amazing. I watched how they, you know, it's a young team. Again, Glenwood Fairbury has been saying it's a young team, a lot of sophomores. But Devin Hunter just seemed to take over. They, they were struggling on offense. He only had 17 yards in the first half. He started saying, give me the ball, give me the ball. And as he ran, you could see the, you know, the intensity picking up for them. Defense played incredible. And it came in, and I was like, still, I'm like, well, Grass, they're going to win this game? And and he never came in and stuck one. I mean, he just took it from him. It was a great game, a great yeah, game. We'll see how Grassfield recovers. That's a big loss. Yeah, I mean, really, they were right on the yeah. cusp of a major win. Uh, so we'll see how, if they can recover. Now let's go out to the Beach District. Cox stayed unbeaten. Right. They beat Lansdowne. Cox is alone atop the Beach right. District. What do you think of the Falcons? I was surprised by that. Not so much that I knew that we always said that Cox was probably one of the best teams in that district, but to go in and dominate Lansdowne like they did. I mean, I felt like Lansdowne was playing, playing, playing well. And, and Cox went in there and just took it from at home as well. I mean, they went on the road, Cox went on the road and beat Lansdowne. So I just wonder now, how does Lansdowne respond from that? And can Cox keep going? I'm sure you Cox fans know I picked against Cox. I can't get Cox right to save my life. Uh, I can't get a lot of picks uh, right. Um, but I was surprised that Cox yeah. blew them out. Yeah. I mean, uh, Lansdowne had been playing really well. They were unbeaten, but now Cox is alone on top. Yeah. Now, you saw another game on Saturday, Lake Taylor, another great game. They beat Norview. Norview cannot get over that hump. They have not beaten the yeah. Titans since 2001. And again, this is another pick that I did not get right, and a lot of Lake Taylor fans let me know. What would you see out of the Titans and uh, Norview on Saturday? Hank Sawyer said thank you as well because yes. he said you picked against him as yeah. well. You know, it's hard to beat a team that's on top. You know, you can have everything that you have going on. I mean, Norview had one of the best passers, one of the best rushers, good defense, just a good, sound team. And everybody thought this was going to be the year. Hank Surrey and those boys said, no, we're going to take it again. See if you can beat us. And they couldn't beat them. And here they are. They're dominating again. I mean, they really came back. They, were, they didn't, you know, get frazzled when they were down. They just kept plugging away. And I tell you, Roman Bond, uh, incredible defensive player. And DeMonte, Tucker, Dorsey, they played incredible. The seniors rose to the occasion, turned back Norview again. Yeah, defense really played well for Lake Taylor in that game. They had a big late interception that kind of sealed the deal. They had a goal line stand, um, I think, at the fourth and goal at the one. Um, so let's talk about another defense that I saw on Saturday. That was Oscar Smith against Deep Creek. Oscar Smith played really well. It, it was They were a little sluggish in that first half. Deep Creek seems like they're much better than they were over the last few seasons. It was 14-7 at halftime, but Oscar Smith uh, came back 141-14. What do you think of the Tigers? I bet my house on them. I told you they're going to continue. I just don't see anybody beating them. They're, they're talented. A lot of those guys played last year. It was 16 returning starters. I just feel that they're going to continue to roll. Now, I'm not going to say they might not have close games, but I, I just feel that nobody's going to be able to beat them in the Southeastern District right now. Yeah, I agree. Now, we agree on that. There's something <laughs> we don't agree on. Now, this is not going to be Trump versus Clinton, but it may get a little contentious. Who's number one, Larry? I know uh, Bishop Sullivan has two straight losses, mm. so they are not number one anymore. Our voters, me, you, and a couple other guys on the staff could not agree, really. Right. Uh, who do you have at number one in Southampton Roads? I've got Lake Taylor, and the reason why is the way they played. I mean, they're continue they play anybody and everybody. They don't care who they're playing, but that game against Norview just showed just, I mean, how resilient they are. They kept battling, battling, battling. Hank Sawyer has those guys, as he told me, you know, you got to want to win more than you want to breathe, more than you want to eat. I'm like, oh, okay. So these guys are, I mean, he's got them pumped up. And I just felt the way they played on Saturday, I, they deserve my number one vote. Yeah, I, I agree that the, I think they're going to roll through the Eastern District, but I went with Oscar Smith this week. Oscar Smith, I think, is playing better on defense than anybody. I think you throw out that game against DeMatha. DeMatha's right, undefeated. Right, right. They're ranked number one in the Washington Post area. Sean Mitchell's hitting yes, his stride. Yes, D'Angelo yes. White had an 80-yard touchdown run. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to disagree with you on Lake <laughs> Taylor. I think I had Lake Taylor at number two. I have Oscar Smith at number one. Uh, but we'll see how it shakes out. There's yeah. some big games coming up. Yeah. Now, speaking of coming up, this week, uh, Bayside at Cox. That's yes, a big game yes, in the yes. Beach District. Bayside is one of four teams that have one loss in the Beach. They're chasing Cox. Yeah. What do you expect in that game? Bayside's had a whole week off. I'm sure they were that game, Lansdowne versus Cox. Hopefully they got some things they can see they, they can do. But they've got to win this game. If they want to stay in that Beach District hunt, they have to win this game. And they've lost the last three to Cox, Cox including a playoff game. So this could be a key game for Bayside. They've got to come out. They've got to execute. And they 
they got to beat Cox if they want to stay in the Beach District race. Yeah, Bayside has some weapons on offense. It'll be interesting yeah. to see if they can stop that uh, Cox uh, offense, that right. running game, right. Right. and also see if Cox can kind of slow down those uh, speedsters uh, right. on right. Bayside's roster. Now, we got some key games in the Southeastern District this week. Uh, Deep Creek at Lakeland, two kind of surprising mm -hmm. teams. Western Branch, Grassfield, we talked a little bit about Grassfield. Mm -hmm. Of those four teams, uh, you know, we, we kind of see how Grassfield recovers. I right. Mean, are right. they the one right now that we're kind of wondering about heading that, into this week? As well as Western Branch. Western Branch played well last week. So you wonder, are they, are they right of the ship? So we'll find out. But Grassfield, I mean, that was a, a, a tough loss, a real tough loss. And they had to think back, like, we had this game. We lost it like that. So how do they recover? That's going to be the key for them. And I'm interested to see how Deep Creek and uh, Lakeland play. I mean, Lakeland's been playing really well this year. And as you said, Deep Creek's much improved. So I think all those games are going to be really good games. Yeah, I was really impressed with Jalen Jefferson, the quarterback mm -hmm. for Deep Creek. It'll be interesting to see. He's going up against, uh, you know, Demontre Miltier, the mm -hmm. Lakeland mm -hmm. running back. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to yeah. see how that game shakes out. Now, a big game also Friday. Good counsel from Maryland comes down here, plays Bishop Sullivan. Larry, the Crusaders have lost two games in yes. a row. I think they really need this one. They, uh, what do you think about this game? They need it. And it, just to let you know, good counsel is my alma mater, so I'm not rooting for the no Falcons. Bias, but no, no, bias. no bias. No bias. But this is a big game. I mean, uh, Bishop Sullivan, two back-to-back -back losses. One was to McNamara, which is not even the top tier of the WCAC conference up there. The top teams up there are DeMatha, St. John's, uh, Good Counsel, and Gonzaga. And Bishop Sullivan's going to have a tough. They were both losses were on the road, so that's, you know, to their point. But now they got to play at home. Good counsel coming down here. Good counsel dropped from five to number six in the Washington Post poll. They got one of the greatest coaches in the history of Maryland football, basically in the nation. He's one of the winningest coaches ever, um, and, uh, Bob Malloy. It's going to be interesting to see what they do. How does Bishop Sullivan respond after these two, last two losses? I mean, a lot of hype has been on them all season long. Um, we'll find out what's, what they're made of. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they lose this game, they'd be 3-3 three and three with three straight losses. Um, but I, I, I think, you know, Bishop Sullivan, they're playing at home. They haven't mm -hmm. lost at home. They'll have a big crowd. I think they're going to be motivated to, to prove. There's a lot of talk on Twitter, mm -hmm. a lot of chatter that says, hey, these guys aren't for real. Right. You know, they got eight Division One commits, and they've lost two straight games. Mm -hmm. So I think Bishop Sullivan is going to play well on Friday night. And um, speaking of Friday night, we're going to try something new this week. Join Larry and I live on Facebook. So check us out. We'll have some promos on 757teams.com to uh, show you where to go. Uh, before that game, Bishop Sullivan and um, Good, Counsel. Good Counsel, and we will be there live before the game, a few minutes before kickoff. Otherwise, we'll see you uh, on 757teams.com. Thanks a lot for joining us.